Hey YouTube, this is Damage Shine Tell you Love Real and today's video really being my Feel the Walking Dead season four, episode four rewrites. This one's called The Poet. Um and so it's by it's like pull uh, bullet form kind of, so and it's not too much detail in like everything, but it's just like the main kind of like little things that happen. So anyway, Helena and Carlos are taken to a cell. Helena aggressively asks what is going on to happen what is going to happen uh to them while Carlos uh, um what is going to happen to them while Carlos tries to tries to fight but is quickly thrown to the ground. Carlos and Helena have bags over their heads and are tied up with a wire. Proctor 5, like they already have a wire while Carlos is trying to fight and they're already tied up and everything. Uh, Proctor 5, who is one of John's men, tells them that John will decide what to do with, with them because John is not there at the moment. Nick and Alicia Clark meet for the first time since the dam's explosion. They share a hug. Daniel is not with Alicia anymore. He's still looking for Victor Strand. Nick and Alicia are very happy to see each other. Alicia tells her brother that Daniel told her that John wanted to have a talk with him, and she asks what is what it was about. Uh, Nick, knowing that Proctor John told him not to tell anyone, disobeys John and tells Alicia that he is not wanted on the trip to Texas because he blew up the dam. And John is mad at him. Alicia tells Nick that she never planned to go to Texas with him and that she was just lying to John. Nick tells Alicia that their mom seems to be set on going to Texas and that she seems to be on John's side. Alicia tells Nick that Madison is not planning to go to Texas with John. Uh, Nick is not sure. He's unsure if Alicia is right or not and still believes that Madison is planning on helping John. Nick, Nick tells Alicia that it's not safe and that John wants him dead. Alicia tells Nick that they will have to escape. Nick remembers about Daniel and tells Alicia that they need to find him as uh find him as he's already looking around for uh for Daniel. So like he uh to just be more descriptive there, that didn't really make any sense. He Nick is like, Oh yeah, we need to look for Daniel and then but he says that as he's looking for Daniel, he's looking around, kinda like walked around away from Alicia a bit. Nick tells Alicia that Daniel's going to try to kill Victor. Alicia tells Nick that Victor's in the infirmary. Nick tells Alicia that the infirmary is where Daniel is going because that is where John told him Victor would be. The two run to the infirmary. Meanwhile, Proctor John is in a room with his men discussing the loss of the dam and how they can further grow their drug empire. John is silent while his men dish out ideas to each other. John listens on a little while longer before he silences everyone and tells him that Madison's family can't live. John explains that he wants to kill Nick or not have him go to Texas, but he wants Alicia to go to Texas with him. And the only way to have Alicia go is to have Madison and Nick go. If he kills Nick, he has to kill Madison and Alicia because they will fight back. John's men don't say anything uh, because they honestly don't care about what happens to the Clark family. Which, uh, this is a dilemma that he kind of faces uh, in, in, in Season 3. So, Daniel finally finds Victor. Victor is lying on the bed because he is, he is still hurt. Uh, Daniel says Victor's name as he walks into the same room. Victor's clearly scared. Daniel tells Victor that once he kills him, he will go and kill John and the other proctors. And if he dies while trying, trying, so be it. Victor strictly holds the scalpel in his hands that he got from Alicia. Madison walks, interrupting the two. She asks if, if they've seen Alicia and Nick. Daniel openly tells Madison that he thinks they're trying to stay away from her. Madison asks as if she didn't know why, but she does. Um, she asks why they would stay away from her. Uh, Daniel does not reply. So Madison knows why, you know, Nick and Alicia would like try to stay away from her, but she's kind of acting like, no, I don't like, I don't know why you'd, why you would say that, Daniel. Um, Alicia and Nick then show up to see the other three in the infirmary. Madison says that it's good that they're all, all together now and are safe. Nick then quietly mutters, saying that they are not safe with her around. Madison does not reply, even though she hears this. Victor Strand then asks what happens now because Proctor John is not going to just let them all live. Victor said that he tried to make a deal to let them live, but it's probably over now. Daniel then gets mad, asking what deal. He assumes it is a deal for John to have the dam, which is exactly what it was. Uh, Victor tells Daniel that he didn't know Daniel was there. Madison shuts them up. Madison Clark then says that they will stay together and fight if anything happens. Uh, she she then also says that she will they all they all they will all leave at night uh alicia asks where they would go victor says el bazaar uh madison says no that they shouldn't go there uh but then nick speaks up and says uh that he wants to go there mainly just kind of like to disagree to madison because he kind of does want to go there um because you know that's one of the last times he had like fun with troy 
Masan then changes her mind and says they'll go to the go to El Bazaar to get their bearings. Uh, because she kind of wants to be like, hey, like you know, Nick, I'm on your side. Um, so she agrees with Nick there. Uh, Proctor Fi walks in saying that John wants Madison to go on a ride with him. Madison asks if she can bring someone else along. Five says, Proctor Five says yes. Danny offers to go because you know Madison doesn't want to go alone because she thinks that you know John will kill her. Um, and she doesn't want her kids to go too because she doesn't want her kids to die. Madison rides on the back of John's bike uh, through an unknown highway while Danny is on the back of Proctor Five's motorbike. Uh, John talks to Madison about Nick's, Nick saying that he's a, about Nick uh, by saying that he that Nick is a loose cannon. John talks about how he tried to kill himself on the bridge back at the dam before he blew it up. Madison takes offense to what he is saying and defends her son by saying that John doesn't know what she will do, implying that she might kill him. She might kill John. They bypass many zombies along the way. The four get to their destiny. Eventually, get to their destination. John asks. Proctor 5 to kill the oncoming zombies. Proctor 5 success successfully kills them. Madison asks uh, what Proctor John brought them for, or why he, uh, he brought them. John, uh, meaning herself and Daniel, John tells Madison that uh, and the rest to follow him. They make their way into a small history museum. They kill a few zombies along the way. John stops at a few different models and talks about how groups of people built this civil civilization, he explains, because he's like, a history guy and he just knows everything um so he explains it all to like them he talks about how he's going to do the same thing by connecting uh his outposts like in texas and where he's at already and just other places and and with and they'll have walkie talkies to communicate once they're done and ready to leave he asks madison if she's ready to help uh, if madison says no uh, uh he's ready to kill the clark family if she says yes he will think about it some more think about whether he should kill them or not um, Madison looks at Daniel. Daniel does not care what Madison will say because he knows he'll try and kill the Proctors either way. Whether she says yes, he will try to kill him, or whether he says no. Uh, Madison says yes, but she's lying. Back at La Casa, Victor asks where Carlos and Helena are. Alicia tells Victor that she has not seen them for a while. Nick is, is alone snooping around La Casa looking for weapons. He sneaks around some Proctors silently. Nick looks through any drawers, cupboards, and, and boxes that he can find. Eventually, he... He finds a tied up Helena and Carlos with cloth in their mouths. He frees them. Helena thanks Nick while Carlos stares at Nick with a menacing face. Nick is a little scared. Nick asks what happened to them. Helena explains that she saw John talk to him and then they were captured. This is also the first time uh, Nick, Helena, and Carlos meet. Uh, Nick meets Carlos and Helena. Uh, Carlos knowing where the guns are uh, because he saw, you know, the proctors like take them from there. Uh, Gunzar takes a pistol and loads it. The guns were in the same room that they're in right now, but behind a cabinet, uh, like hiding there. Nick then does the same. Helena tries to stop them, telling that they can't just shoot up the place. Carlos does not say anything because, of course, he's a mute, but Helena knows uh, that he said, why not, as he's looking at her. Helena then says, because they are outnumbered. Nick Clark then says that they don't need to shoot the, the place up if they don't have to, and that they should only fire if they're being fired at themselves. Nick brings, brings guns for Alicia and Victor. Alicia already has uh, a gun, uh, so Carlos takes two from Nick. Uh, I mean, Carlos takes the second from Nick, so now Carlos has two. Victor asks where they got the guns. Helena tells him what happened to Carlos and, and her. Nick then tries to leave, hoping everyone would follow him out of the room uh, they're in, but no one does. Victor tells Nick uh, to wait because they need Madison. Nick, knowing that Madison was gone and not caring as much as he should, then says, and Daniel. Um... Victor knew that Daniel was gone too, but he didn't care as well. Uh, he didn't care for Daniel as much as he should either. Um, so let me clarify that a bit. So Nick's like, okay, uh, let's go, guys. And then Dan Victor's like, no, uh, we need to wait for Madison. And then he's like, um, and then, you know, Nick knew that Madison was gone, but then Victor, when he, uh, and then Daniel, I mean, Nick also says, oh, yeah, but then we need to wait for Daniel too. He reminds him of Daniel, and Victor's kind of like trying to forget about Daniel. Um, which Nick was trying to kind of forget about Madison. The group hide their guns, uh, hide, hide their guns, and uh, just in case and uh, any proctors see them with it, they wait for Madison and Daniel to come back. They hide their guns like maybe in like their pants or something, uh, put like their shirt over it. It becomes dark and is and is uh, during the night, and it's only during the night when Madison, Daniel, John, and Proctor Five come back to La Casa. Uh, Proctor Five shows the Clark, the Clarks, Daniel. Uh, oh, I'm here. I spelled Daniel wrong. 
spelled D A N E I L. I'm gonna fix that. Daniel and Victor, uh, their sleeping quarters under John's orders, because uh, the I is supposed to come before the E. Uh, John goes goes to bed knowing that he will he will still have to kill Victor after ruining everything with the dam. He waits to deal with everything till the morning. Madison is in the same room uh, sleeping with Alicia, uh, while Nick stays awake all night making sure Daniel and Victor don't kill each other in a different room. And then of course uh, Helena and Carlos are sleeping in their own room. So yeah, uh, that's episode four. Episode five. This was actually a lot. Episode four was a lot of fun, right? But episode five probably won't be because it won't have the main cast. It'll be kind of like almost like a bottle episode, because you know it's not every not every character is in every single episode. Um, so the episode five will be like with like basically none of the main characters other than Eddie Di- and Diana, which is only two. Uh, they're and they'll have like the support also starring characters uh Kaltaka and Lee which i guess Lee and Kaltaka should be maybe main characters but no um but yeah so they'll they'll be an episode same with Lucy and it'll be her first appearance in season 4 so i hope you guys enjoy subscribe like for more and bye so